Welcome back to another exciting episode of Jim Unboxes Stuff and the start of March of the Dinobots. And of course we're going to start things off with the leader of the Dinobots, Grimlock from Power of the Primes. So let's have a little peek at the box. And now we will open him up. Ooh. And here we have Grimlock in his robot mode, which I will say is very G1 accurate and I quite like. It's got a very nice aesthetic to it and it uh, is pleasing to the eye for especially G1 fans like myself. Now, he does come with some accessories as well, including two feet for his combined mode, which we'll get into a little later, and of course a creation matrix for well, when you're doing Matrix things, but Matrix also goes into the foot. <laughs> so, let's get him all transformed here into Dino Mode and see just how good he can be. And here he is, in all his Dino Griff Riffic glory. It's Grimlock! Now, I do have some major issues. Now, Grimlock looks great from up front and on the side, but once you look at his back, you'll notice uh, he's not exactly complete. <laughs> he's, he kind of looks a bit off. It's, it's not the best look. And there's uh, the combiner's head there. Now, yes, I do love the very G1 head. Little arms are nice, even though they don't really move all that much. Legs are good. Tail is meh at best. But when it comes to this guy, it's the back that really kills the figure. If you've got them in a collection and you're just posing them in dino mode, pose them at the front, because then people won't see the horrible truth about uh, poor little Grimmy and that he has no back. And here's Grimlock with his older but uh, much more expensive brother. Now, as you can see, Masterpiece Grimlock has a very nice back. Uh, Power of the Primes Grimlock, not so much. But I still enjoy the Power of the Primes Grimlock. He's still a really nice figure. But I have to really dock points for his back. It's really an issue to me. And I don't know why, but I really don't like it. So, unless you're a gigantic Dinobot fan, and you really want the combiner, which, to be honest, I really do want the combiner. Uh, I'd stay a little far away from this Grimmy, because he's not perfect, to say the least. But let's go into his uh, combiner mode and see just what uh, we can look forward to. And here's Grimlock as the core of the new combiner of Vulcanian. Mind you, there's not much on his back, but uh, he does have a really nice head sculpt. I really like with the little tiny like crown there. That's pretty fun. Overall, I like the aesthetic of a Dinobot Combiner, and hope when I get to the end of uh, March of the Dinobots, we can show off uh, more, more or less combined mode. Join us again next week as we take a look at Dinobot Slash.